Hello, my name is Mr. Douglas. I am the teacher of electrical and electronics engineering technology at the Common Mare School. I first began um, electronics over at the Polytechnic. I was first introduced to the robotics program by Mr. Veer Paris, who was then the principal, 2017 at the Common Mare School. The president of BAPE is the one who got us interested in the robotics program. We had two weeks to build a magnificent robot which would usually take a person two to at least six months. And we were fortunate that we got the robot built, programmed and, and ready to fit every spec that was needed. The robotics program that we are involved with we have many different skills that are required. For instance, there's planning. We have to be aware of drawing, whereby we use the AutoCAD programs. There's also to the mechanical engineer aspect, whereby most persons will have to do with some form of machining. Also to there is the, the competency of knowing um, electrical and also electronics. With that being said, we also have to code the robot for its final um, involvement of carrying out particular commands. Besides the program here at the Common Mirror School, why I am so happy that the Common Mirror School is so involved with the robotics program for a very long time is I think particularly the K program. There is the electrical and electronics engineering program is then at Cape and it has two options. The first option is electrical, the next option is electronics and the one that's electronics based deals with a lot of communication aspects and so forth and microprocessors, microcontrollers, PLCs and so forth. Robotics however is part of the syllabus so that's why you see so many of our students participating with the electronics and the robotics and so forth. We were encouraged to participate in um, different tournaments such as the one in 2017 which was over in Washington DC. Um, in that particular one we had to build a robot which would pick up balls, sort them by the different colors, store them and also to place them in particular targets. It was, I think, was the most complicated task at hand, even till present. 2018, we were, we were invited to attend the international competition, and this is with First Global, and we were invited to Mexico City. That's where that tournament occurred. And the robots there then had to do particular tasks, and the tasks were involved were, um, we had to pick up solar panels to power a particular grid. We had to um, load particular boxes which resemble cubes which used to incinerate a, um, a, a burner. There, there are also to a number of other aspects that were involved whereby the robots, the robot had different tasks. The, the most difficult task that I can remember is to place a particular box at a particular size in a very high area or high region of the, um, of the game. It's more or less like a game, if I may, may I add. In 2019, we were invited to attend the international competition once again in Dubai, whereby tickets there were really expensive from Barbados and we would really like to thank the um, First Global community also too we would like to thank the Dubai government and the different sponsors that were affiliated with the Dubai government as they paid for each each person's um, plane ticket they paid for the food they paid for the hotel accommodation they just took care of everyone 
we do have some form of support already, but the support we really need is for corporate Barbados to really reach out and assist these students with um, their particular programs. There are at least four tournaments we attend every year, and each tournament is ranked by different ages and also two of their skills. What I would, what I would like to see is that parents can come out and participate with fundraising activities. Um, also, two companies can get involved, different banks, different um, various companies that may be related to the electrical field, etc. Even if they are not um, affiliated with anything of the sort, we will still be, be willing to take the sponsorship of any different uh, body. I recall that one gentleman from the first um, club, he said, Mr. Douglas, we really need you to get on board with the FRC program. And I didn't understand it at first until I did some digging up. And I saw that the FRC program is really the ultimate um, area dealing with robotics. This is an area whereby we have to build the robot from actually scrap scrap metals and so forth. We, we machine them, we make parts, and we deal with a lot of innovative ideas. And doing that, we are able then to have a robot that is ready for competition. And this robot must meet weight specs, it must meet size specs, it must meet, it must meet everything. I mean, it's so good because um, we usually get international engineers working along with us. Um, presently, we are connected with those engineers from Mexico and we are desirous, we are really desirous of entering the competition this year for the first time. Um, we have never entered the FRC program before, so this one will definitely be interesting. Yes, this year we are supposed to be heading to Tennessee, uh, Memphis, Tennessee in March the 18th. This is the FRC team. It was mentioned to us that there are particular companies, huge, big companies that come there to scout for the students. Not only do they scout for the students, but the big universities such as MIT, FIT, all those big names that you know that are affiliated with the universities. Well, they are broken down in different categories. They are like um, the Platinum. The Platinum would offer 500,000 US plus. And also too, you will have gold, which may be 250 US plus, and that's thousand dollars by the way. <laughs> and there, there are also to the bronze um, universities that offer bronze packages, and there that may be a little less, probably like a hundred or so thousand US dollars. Um, so you, you, you're you're able to have the full scholarship if you're really that good. And when I say good, they have their own terms of being good because it's not about winning. Most people come into this competition really just looking to win. But as far as the scouters, they're looking for persons who really have a very high level of tenacity, whereby they want to see the students being involved with tasks whereby they fail, they get back up, they go again. Even if they fail again, they get, they get their team together they become solid once more and they move ahead. So these are different aspects that different persons are looking for than what we were led to believe in, in the earlier times. So with that said, I think now we really have a better idea of us moving forward.